setup right now. I'm not sure if you guys watch this channel regularly or not, but maybe once or twice a year I come to this area. It's otherwise known as the Evo Triangle, uh, and it's famous for journalists and magazines to bring cars down here to test drive. Normally I turn up with a chocolate bar and it looks like that. Today we are supported by a full factory team from Hyundai, and this is the kind of setup you get. We've got a, like a, basically a, our own hospitality suite in the middle of nowhere, which is, if you come all the, the way around here, um, in terms of places to set up camp, look at this. It's unbelievable. Now, unfortunately, the sun has burnt it off now, but when we came over the crest this morning, and this lake view opened up, there was literally smoke on the water. It was incredible. We sent the drone up earlier, which might have caught some of it. I'm not sure. But yeah, normally I literally turn up here, one car, me and a GoPro and a Kit Kat. <laughs> and off I go about my day filming on roads like this. And today, it's incredible. It really is. And it's amazing how the team here, they make you feel part of the team. We've been with Hyundai for the last five days. As far as I'm concerned, I might as well be a works driver. It's incredible. So after this, we're going to be hopping in that i20 with Hayden. And uh, hopefully he's going to rearrange the smile glands on our faces. So you really have to rely on your co-driver, your co-pilot to... You're doing 100% what the pace limit say. So wow. you literally, the only way you know if you're on the road sometimes is if you feel if you're in the ditch on one side. So if you get in the ditch, you know, all right, it's time to turn back. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you're driving 100% purely on the pace limits. That's incredible. Oh, I've had a few screamers in the car before, a few people be sick. Uh, you had people be sick literally in their helmet? Wow, well, no, I'm yeah, yeah. luckily to be able to contain it. But, um, <laughs> and as I get out, they step out. From, from my side, I take it. It's more of a compliment. The more, the more scared you get. Of okay. course, yeah, yeah. So the more you scream, or the more you yell, the more it's going to encourage me to go. Yeah, like so, I'm yeah. not going to slow down. But uh, <laughs> no, no, like, today's about having fun. We go sideways. It's not Fabulous. about um, stopwatch. It's yeah, about yeah. going sideways and showing you what the car is capable of. It's a great time. Enjoying the stage. Yeah, right. we'll give you a good yeah. ride. And we watch you. Have you got the pace notes? Because I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just hoping it's going to be a bit more foggy. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you so much. This is the part where we sign our life away. Um, we uh, probably shouldn't have watched those videos <clears throat> yesterday of uh, cars falling off the cliff at Pikes Peak. But, uh, you know, <laughs> if you're going to immerse yourself in the experience, we might as well go 10 tenths, haven't we? Yeah, it's funny, after a, a briefing is when it gets real. <laughs> when they remind you what's about to happen. So this is this is good now. This is really really good. Signing our life away. <laughs> there you go. Let's do it, man. Oh, here you go. For any accident or prejudice that may occur during the event, the waiver shall not apply for any injury to life, body, and health caused by intention of gross negligence. Oh, injury to life. Isn't that called death? Let me sign <laughs> this really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's find a table and do this. This week has been ridiculous. <laughs> now here I am starting uh, starting my Monday morning in a WRC car. Standard procedure. <laughs> what is happening? Fortunately, today I don't have to do any pace notes. I am literally along for the ride. However, this is an example of the kind of pace notes. I mean, it looks it looks more like a complex formula than it does pace notes. I, I mean, that, I, I understand that one, jump. I have no idea how they can take on board all of this while driving 10 tenths through a forest. Let's jump in the car and find out. Now it gets real. The name goes on the side of the car or off to the woods. Right, Yanni's just stepped out. All I can see is a big smile on his face, so I know it's cool. I just want to get in there now and experience it for myself. I think I'm last of the day, so say the best of the last, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How you doing, man?
That was fab, absolutely fantastic. Oh, nice. <laughs> They're like, this car and that guy are like two dancing partners. The way, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. the way he makes, and your eyes are showing you one thing, like the floor is so rough and there's boulders, crevices, potholes all over the place. He just skips over them as if they're barely there. Watching his technique as well. One minute he's left foot braking, next minute he's on the handbrake, just locking up that rear dip and swinging it around. The, the traction it's got as well. As soon as you put, and what's totally different between this and track racing is, like track racing, you're finding the most efficient driving line, clipping the apex. He's he's already backed in before the apex, getting his like getting lined up to come out of it. It's ridiculous. It's yeah, unbelievable. I mean it's. Uh, it's for me as well, it's an entirely new experience because I'm so used to being on tarmac. Um, but skipping over dirt, the suspension travel it's got as well. When it goes over, over crests, you feel the whole thing get light, compresses and gains traction. It's out of this world, man. Absolutely out of this world. What do you think? What Crazy do you think about that, Gib? You trust him. You know when you're in there, you know he's got it. Yeah, you're not you worried really at do. all. To be fair, there was no stage I'm thinking, uh-oh, I'm just like, yeah. yeah, he's got this easy. He's got it, hasn't he? Uh, yeah. I'm still kind of coming down from that experience. Um, I think the best way of explaining it all is that car to him is his dancing partner. You know, he really did. It just, the, it was a choreographed flow through the woods. And yeah, I'm still, I'm still in awe of that guy's skill of how much speed he can carry on gravel. Like you're approaching bends, like you're going like 120 through the woods on wet gravel. And he's, he's braking as late as he would on a track. It's nuts. So uh, I'm not going to try that in this car. We're going to take it steady so that we don't run out of fuel. If you watched yesterday's video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then uh, we're going to head over to the, the next stop, which is a fine Welsh pub. Come on, Jay, let's go. <laughs> 